welcome back to Mars Vlogs. So for today's video, I'm gonna tackle about forgiveness. Ikaw ba meron ka bang tao na hindi pa napapatawan hanggang ngayon? Meron bang tao na sobra kang nasaktan, sobra kang inapakapakan, dinurog-durog, yan. At yung tao ba na yon ay napatawad mo na? Or isa ka din doon sa nagsasabi na hinding hindi kita mapapatawad? It's one of the hardest things to give away and almost always goes to those who don't even deserve it. Some of us don't even like thinking about it when someone wants us or even saying it out loud. But still, something we all end up having to do it one point or another, especially if we want to maintain our peace. Peace. Ano ba talaga ang pagpapatawad at bakit natin ito kailangang gawin? Kailangan nga bang gawin? Para kanino ba kung ikaw ang magpatawad? Para ba yun sa kanya or para sa'yo? With all the noise in the world and melting pot of opinions on how to deal with hurt, the act of forgiveness is often droned out. We sadly live in a fallen world full of all kinds of pain and feelings of malice. Thankfully, as Christians, we don't have to live by the way of the world because Jesus has already overcome it. Ikaw man ay sobrang nasaktan or nagawan ng masama ng mahal mo, ng kaibigan mo, ng kahit magulang mo. Alam ng Panginoon kung ano yung nararamdaman mo. Alam niya kung ano ang nangyari. Alam niya kung kailan ka gagaling. So sa mga oras na ito, nais kong ipaalam sa iyo na kung si Lord nga ang Panginoon natin, ilang beses, maraming beses na sinaktan din siya. Maraming beses na ginawan siya ng hindi tama. Pero nag-remain siya, nanatili siya, walking in the Spirit, and hindi niya hinayaan na yung sarili niya ay ma-fall doon sa unforgiveness. Bakit nga ba kailangan nating magpatawad? Una-unang rason, dahil pinatawad tayo ni Lord. Because God forgave us. This is the one you probably already familiar with. The number one reason why we should forgive others is simply because God forgave us. He is so full of love and ready to forgive when we sincerely ask, so we should too. Kapag nararamdaman natin na hindi na tama ito, hindi na tama yung nararanasan natin, hindi madaling magpatawad. Pero kung si Lord niya pinatawad tayo, sino tayo para hindi magpatawad doon sa nagkamali sa atin? I know most of the time, it's far from easy. But the more we condition ourselves spiritually and become closer to the Lord, the easier it becomes. God said in Colossians chapter 3, verse 13, Tolerate the weaknesses of those in the family of faith, forgiving one another in the same way you have been graciously forgiven by Jesus Christ. If you find fault with someone, release the same gift of forgiveness to them. How simple yet profound this verse is, right? Not only should we forgive others because he forgives us, 
but also simply because we love Him and should want to obey His words, right? Over and over, God has forgiven both you and I more times in our lives than we even realize. So, we should forgive. Number two, forgiveness frees us from bitterness. Forgiveness is essential if we want to keep our peace and prevent the poison of bitterness taking root in our hearts. Whenever you hold resentment towards someone and withhold forgiveness, it opens a door to the enemy of your soul to poison you with bitterness, insecurity, and even barricade you from blessings that the Lord wants to give you. So, ibig sabihin, yung unforgiveness, nagiging hadlang yon sa mga blessings na dapat natatanggap na natin. So, we should forgive. God said in Ephesians 4, verse 31 to 32, Lay aside bitter words, temper tantrums, revenge, profanity, and insults. But instead, be kind and affectionate toward one another. Has God graciously forgiven you? Then, graciously forgive one another in the depths of Christ's love. So guys, when we choose to forgive, it's not the same as choosing to condone or excuse what happened. It's choosing to release the resentment, hurt, and allowing the Lord to heal us of any damage it caused. So, ibig sabihin, pag hindi ka nagpapatawad, napupoison ang iyong kaisipan, napupoison pati ang iyong katawan. ba? Kaya, choose to forgive. Pag nakaugalian na natin ang pagpapatawad, hindi na mahirap sa atin ang mga ganong sitwasyon. So, ibig sabihin, may mangyari man ulit na hindi maganda, hindi na sa big deal sa atin. Hindi na sasama ang loob natin. At hindi na mahirap na patawarin yung tao. Or, ibig sabihin, hindi na tayo nasasaktan. Hindi na tayo nakakaramdam ng sama ng loob. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na tayo bitter. Kaya, we should have to choose forgiveness. Okay? And number three, man's revenge is not God's justice. If you've ever been hurt by someone and have felt the sting of betrayal, rejection, or flat out pain of whatever happened, then the thought of revenge may have crossed your mind. It's only natural to want justice for yourself. But most of the time, the world's way of settling the score is not the will of the Lord. In short, man's revenge is not God's justice. Bottom line is this. We are God's children and He loves us more than we can comprehend because of this he doesn't take offense against his sons and daughters lightly proverbs 20 verse 22 says don't ever say i'm going to get even with them if it's the last thing i do wrap god's grace around your heart and he will be the one to vindicate and in Romans chapter 12, verse 19 says, Beloved, don't be obsessed with taking revenge. 
but leave that to God's righteousness justice. For the scripture says, If you don't take justice into your hands, I will release justice for you, says the Lord. Ang ganda-ganda pakinggan, ang ganda-ganda basahin ang verse na ito, Romans chapter 12 verse 19, na sinasabi dyan, huwag daw tayong maghiganti. Dahil ang Panginoon ang siyang gaganti para sa atin. So forgive just as He forgave you. He loves you and wants to restore you with His joy and peace. Forgive that situation. Forgive that person. Even if your feelings and emotions don't align with your decision, ask God for His help and keep forgiving until they do. He will give you the grace to forgive when you simply take the first act of obedience because forgiveness brings freedom. If you want to be free, then forgive. If you've been blessed of this video, Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Thank you.